So let's start with the existence proof. So I want to show that there is no anti-chain that's any bigger than the size of a binomial coefficient. That's the real key. Now I need a lemma, and the lemma goes like this. Take the subset lattice going from all zeros, the empty string, up to all ones. And I, I want you to think of this. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got six bits in my string, but I want you to think of this in general, that I've got n bits. Now, pick any set anywhere. So this is just some subset, A, or a bit string. How many maximal chains are there that go through A? How many different ways are there to go boop, 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 boop? How many different ways are there to do this? So suppose A looks like this. Zero, in fact, let me, let me, right, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Now, if that's A, what is N? What, did you th what is in? 15? Agreed? OK. So n, in my example here, is 15. A corresponds to a set, a subset of 1 up to 15. To make sure that we're on the same page, is the element 8 a member of A? is the element 8 in A. Yes or no? No. Does everybody see that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That bit is a 0. So element 8 is not in this set. 8 isn't, 9 isn't, but 10 is. And so is 12. Are you with me? This is lecture two in this course. Bit strings and sets. All right, now I want to see a maximal chain that goes through that element. What does a maximal chain look like? It starts way down here at all zeros. I'm not going to write them all. There's 15 of them. Now, as I go up, what do I do right here? As I go from this one to the next level, what do I do? I put, I toggle one zero into a one. Can I toggle element eight from zero to one? No. Not if I want to go through A. Not if I want to go through A. There are one, two, three, four, five elements in A. If I'm going to get up to A, starting here, all I can do is pick one of those guys and change it from its current value of 0 to a 1. I might, for example, I, j I just might go 0, 0, 0, 1, and then all zeros. What do I do next? I take one of the zeros, which is eventually going to turn into a 1 in A, and I change that to a 1. So I might go 
zero, 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 one, and now coming in from the other side, I just might go zero, 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 one. So this next element would have two ones in it, etc. Now, once I get up to A, how do I go on up from there to the end, which is all ones? How do I go from this one to the next one? I pick any one of the zeros and toggle it to a one. And then I just keep that up. Keep any one of the remaining zeros, toggle it to a one. OK. How many ways to go from this to A, and then how many ways to go from A all the way to the top? Now, these are the lattice path kinds of questions that we studied in this course maybe in the second week. So, how many ways to go from this to this? There are, in this specific case, one, two, three, four, five ones, and you're going to toggle their corresponding zeros from a zero to a one in any order you like. How many ways can you do that? Five factorial. Five factorial. As you go from this one to this, you pick any one of the five ones and convert it from its current value of zero to a one. Then you, to go from here to here, you take any of the four remaining positions where eventually there's going to be a one and toggle it from its current value of zero to a one and you repeat that. So the number of ways to go from here to here is five factorial. Now, how many ways to go from A to on up to the top? 10 factorial. And where, how am I getting 10 factorial? Well, hopefully there are 10 zeros there. And you choose them in order, in any order you like, and you toggle those zeros to ones. So for this set, the final answer is 5 factorial times 10 factorial. And if I wanted to write the number down for a general set, I would say cardinality of A factorial times N minus cardinality of A factorial. Does that count make sense to you? That's the number of maximal chains that go through any one set. Okay, that's first detail. What's the second detail? 